What is up, people? It's been a while since my last lore video, but we are back at it, this time discussing the origins of the Kavik Orcs. So sit back, relax, and hit that subscribe button while you wait. Long ago, years before the fall of Vera, the orcs of the world were nomadic and divided. But one day, an orc leader by the name of Rankal united the orc clans into what is called the Kavek Protectorate. Here, Rankal taught all orcs to answer the protection of the Divine Order. Rankal believed that it was the will of the gods that the Kavek orcs should have superiority over the other nations of Vera. And when the clans united, they could lead the people of Vera to enlightenment. These teachings from Rankal led the Kavik orcs to campaign across the lands of Vera looking to conquer the world, where trophies of each city conquered could be found in the orc capital city of Ren. But after centuries of war and conflict, the Kavik protectorate adopted a policy of peace and coexistence with their neighbors. This decision, though, caused some unrest amongst the clans, beginning to fracture the once unified protectorate. The Kavik orcs are broken into two different subspecies. The Renkai, whom are large and buff in appearance, they are known as one of the tallest playable races in Ashes of Creation and can be found with red or green skin tones, with dragon scales down their body as well. These orcs tend to live in a more swamp or marsh-like environment, and before the fall, their capital city resided in the northeast part of the eastern continent. The Renkai orcs believe in ultimate focus and control their immense power, but when enraged, there aren't many who can stand in their way to tell the tale. The Vek, on the other hand, are a much more skinnier, purplish-looking orc. They are taller than dwarves, but appear to be shorter than humans due to their hunch when they walk. The colder mountain regions in the northeast of Vera are where they call their home. The Vek are stargazers, always looking to the skies to find answers, as they study star maps, numerology, and prophecy. They read the heavens to tell how wars will go and which empires will rise and fall, often asking themselves, are we too late? I hope you guys enjoyed this quick lore video. Drop a comment on what lore you want to hear more about, and I will see what I can do to make that happen. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and have yet to make an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, where everything generated from referrals will go towards benefiting this channel. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.